ओके गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फिट एंड फाइन राइट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ विद्यादेश विद्या संकुल स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म एज यू ऑल नो आई एम खुशी गांधी एंड आई एम टेकिंग योर सब्जेक्ट सोशल एंड इंग्लिश राइट सो अवर टू डेज लेक्चर इज फॉर इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट इन दैट स्टूडेंट स्पेसिफिकली वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज द ग्रेट फेस्टोन पार्ट टू ओके इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड द चैप्टर नंबर नाइन दैट इज ऑलरेडी द कंटिन्यूएशन पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज ऑल्सो टाइटल एज द ग्रेट फेस टोन पार्ट वन इन दैट स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी टू एक्सप्लेनेशन पार्ट दैट इज द पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू सो इन दैट चैप्टर ऑल्सो वी हैव टू पार्ट मीन्स टू पार्ट ऑफ द एक्सप्लेनेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव कंप्लीटेड पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू ऑफ दिस चैप्टर नंबर नाइन सो इन अवर टू डेज लेक्चर स्टूडेंट्स वी विल कंप्लीट द पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर टेन ओके so students uh, in our previous lecture i told you already that that is both chapter are with interconnected interrelated with each other right so we are not able to summarize at this point because we are already left with our part 1 and part 2 of chapter number 10 so when we complete the whole means the whole part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 that time we are able to summarize all the chapters means whatever the moral of the story that time we are able to summarize this okay so till now it is not possible to summarize all those things okay so first of all students we go through this meanings because it is already from our extract okay so first we solve this we understand this what is the meaning of that particular word okay and then go to the our explanation part okay <coughs> so student let's start the meaning of the words so first meaning of that <coughs> that new words that is the furrows now student what is the furrows meaning furrows means the deep lines now what is the deep line students uh, after this some ages we become the older ones right so that time when we become older is our skin become lazy so that's time deep lines are going to conducted in our layer okay so what is the deep lines second one is the obscure now what is the meaning of the obscure students obscure means the not well known means uh, some peoples are like that uh, very silent people right so they are not uh, knowing by all the peoples all the publics in our society so that, that is like the not well known next is the unawares unawares means unknowingly something is like that unknowingly we don't know everything about any one people uh, everything about the any things right so it is like the unknowingly next we have the customary toil now what is the customary toil students customary toil means the usual work what is the usual work means i am a teacher right and i am doing uh, uh, i am doing and i am making your lectures for the students so it is my usual work right it is my daily work so it is called the uh, customary toil next we have the hospitable now what is the hospitable students here here means gently and kindly whenever we work with the kindness and gentle it's called the hospitable next we have students correspondent now we all know what is the correspondent here it is not a here we don't take the meaning as like a mathematic purpose right you we have to take the meanings in our english subject right so here the corresponding means not like this in our mathematics uh, in our mathematics subjects corresponding means this right it is corresponding but in our english subject we don't take this meaning in our subject so here what is the meaning of the corresponding corresponding means the being in harmony with harmony with means harmony means with the tuning right we have to work with tune right uh, sometimes what happens students uh, we work like a very laziness right likely to very lazy so here we have to work with the tuning with something next we have students custom means habit we have many customs in our lives right so it is one type of habit that earnest have in your life next we have the 
harmonized with now what is the meaning of the harmonized with means agreed with sometimes uh, it happen that uh, uh, some things uh, happen in our life and we have to agree with that things right so here the harmonized means we have to acknowledge with that things next we have the sage now what is the meaning of the sage here the means the wise man wise man with the gentle mind gentle heart kindness that it is called the wise man means very silent people next we have the diffused now what is the meaning of the diffused student diffused means spread all around means <coughs> he honest what spread all over into belly right uh, we uh, we already learned in our previous chapter that rumors spread all over the valleys which rumors rumors about the gather gold right so here it is uh, like that a okay? uh, wise man or the spread all around the uh, valleys so what happened that the rumors about the great face stone spread all, all over the valley so here what is what we used uh, in place of this diffused all around the valley next we have the abrogate uh, it is already told in our previous lecture that is what is abrogate abrogate means to shorten by omissions of words without sacrifice of sense means shorten by omissions means here we have the story but we don't have the lots of words lots of sentences here so it is the abrogate form of this story here we have the main main concept main main emotions of the chapter and we have already learned that in our first means in our first part that is the chapter number 9 so we don't have the lots of sentences and lots of emotions in that chapter right we have learned only the main purpose main things and main morals of this chapter okay so student it is about the meanings part right now going to explanation part uh, explanation part of this chapter okay students so again i repeat uh, who is the author of this chapter that is the nathaniel hawthorne right <clears throat> we have to remember that uh, who is the uh, writer of this chapter that is the nathaniel hawthorne okay <coughs> so students i hope you all clear with that words right so now going to the explanation parts before uh, i start explanation part of this chapter number 10 i want to give the summary of chapter number 9 Okay, students. What happened in chapter number nine? We got the information about the earliest and the great face stone only. In that chapter, we have only information that what happened, what is the great face stone, who is the uh, child, who is the mother of that child, right? We get only information from that chapter. And in this chapter, we got the whole concept of this chapter. so students first part is related to the information part and the second part is about the story means the concept means the moral climax all the things about the chapter number 9 okay so uh, what we have seen on the chapter number 9 that students <coughs> uh there were the child and mother sat on the cottage of the house that <coughs> they were talking about the great fish so and uh, that time his mother told that the story that is already the old prophecy about the great fish stone in that story what happened students the birth of the oldest and the noblest person at that time in near the valley of the great fish stone right and uh, after some times ornest become oldest and oldest that time what happened were rumors spread over all over the valley which rumors are were that <clears throat> that the person looking like the great face stone it is the gather gold was that gather gold <clears throat> gather gold has lots of money and gold with him right and at that time what happened uh, he uh, melted all the gold in that valley and already the dig uh, means <clears throat> what happened at that time the gather gold look as like the great fish stone it is the rumors of that chapter right and next what happened the commanders of that valley right means uh, the commanders of that valley becomes the chief soldiers after some time means after some pass after some past times they become the chief commander of that soldiers and they return to this valley <coughs> at that time the different peoples from different valleys came over here to see the commanders to see the gather gold face 
for the comparison of the great phase tone with the commanders right <coughs> so at the time what happened at the banquet means what is the banquet means feast one type of hall at that time the people arrived from different different valley to compare the commanders and the great phase tone right at that time what happened ernest sat far away from the commanders and once he got the chance to see the commander that time uh, he was not able to even compare with the commander and the great face stone so at that at that time uh, when he was not able to even compare with means he don't uh, he didn't take any uh, uh, similarities between the commander and the great face stone that time what happened students <coughs> one voice will come from his heart what that it is given you students you can see from your book that is the <coughs> fear not unnest he will come uh, which voice uh, come from his heart that is keep kai uh, keep comes to our students and fear not unnest he will come uh, what the word what is the sentence students that fear not unnest he will come means the great fell stone means the likeness of the great fell stone will come so please don't take tensions uh, means while the all people compared and that told that uh, it is the same face like the great fell stone but Ernest didn't get any similarities between the commanders gather gold and between the great face stone okay so student it is a summary of chapter 9 so now going to our explanation part of chapter number 10 okay students so let us start with the before you read and then going to the explanation part uh what we have students let's see ke many years passed ernest was now a man of middle age so after some years ernest become a from child now he become the oldest person to his neighbors who never suspected that he was anything more than an ordinary and a familiar face he was only a humble and hard working means for the neighbors who is the honest honest like the ordinary and the familiar face right uh, means familiar and ordinary means a uh, he is very wise man right means uh, he was not able to even a uh, even the conversation conversation with the her uh, with the his <coughs> neighbors so for the neighbors he was only a wise man next what we have he was only a humble and hard working do thoughtful person so for the neighbors he was only the thoughtful person right and very hard working person next we have the but what about the old prophecy what is ever fulfilled let us read and find out right uh, when Ernest was the uh, one child, right? In our uh, in our part one, we have seen that Ernest and her, his mother talked about the old prophecy of the great stone face. So in uh, in this chapter, we will see about the what is the old prophecy of this chapter and was it ever fulfilled? And do uh, what is uh, what about the old prophecy? Means it is fulfilled or not in this chapter? Okay, let's see. The years hurried on and brought white hairs upon the head of Ernest. Means the uh, whenever the years passed and white hairs become coming to the head of the Ernest and made wrinkles across his forehead. Wrinkle means here we have seen that after some ages means our grandfather and grandmother has the wrinkle on their forehead. What happened? It is for the ages. It is uh, it is so happened because of that. ages right so next what he uh, what uh, what is the next he was an old man but not in vain had he grown old more numerous that he, the white hairs on his head were the wise thought in his mind means uh, after the years after the uh, years passed he become the older and older but uh, from his vein he don't become the older means the thoughts of minds and the thinking of levels of the honest are not become oldest by ages he become the older but by the mind by the veins he don't become the older and honest had ceased to be obscure now here the obscure obscure means the not well known means honest had ceased means what happened by the different people of valley 
didn't know the uh, Ernest very well means uh, what prophecy Ernest has what the thinking level of Ernest has right they don't know about the Ernest next what we have the unsought for the undesired and had come the fame which so many seek and after the old prophecy Ernest become the so popular and and had gained the so many fame from the different valleys he had become the famous beyond the limits of the valleys and here it is given that he had become the famous beyond the valleys means the, only the people of that valleys college professor and even the active men of cities came from far to see and converse with Ernest means far away means from the far away from the different valleys people came to meet for uh, came to meet to the Ernest why because the level of the thoughts that Ernest has next we have that the came from the far to see and the converse with men converse means for the conversation of about the great face stone because Ernest already know what is the old prophecy that his mother told in her in his childhood next what we have the, and he received them with the gentle sincerity and when uh, when Ernest arrived that all people that uh, all people uh, coming to meet the Ernest that time uh, he meet with the sincerity to all the people right not become any uh, uh, a, a pan, hamper a mind with mind, uh, while he meeting with the peoples. Next, what we have that uh, or laid past in his heart or their own. While they talk together, his face will brighten, unawares and shine upon them as with a mild evening light. What happened? While people coming to see and converse with the earnest, that time what happened? Uh, his face will brighten, means his face become brighter. Right and unaware means unknowingly and shine upon them means uh, he don't know about the shine of his face but the people know how they shine his face while he talking with the peoples. Next as with a mild evening light means uh, as like the light evening right means what happened in the evening light comes from the sun when sun set down right that time uh, light coming from the sun like as the shine of the earnest face coming in between the peoples while honest had been growing old god has granted a new poet to his earth means while honest had been growing old means after some years honest become the older man and god, uh, god had granted a new poet to this earth like man after some years earnest become the poet of the earth means it is a god gift for the earth that the earnest become the poet of this earth he too was a native of the valley but had spent the greater part of his life in the distant cities means he was from the valleys but he spent uh, his lots of time with the different different cities pouring out his sweet music everywhere with the pouring means fulfill fulfill his sound with the uh, means with the many cities of his life next we have the neither was the great stone face forgotten for the poet had celebrated it in the poem means whenever he was write any poem that time he not forgot the great face stone while he writing anything he always remember the great stone face in his mind uh, already we have seen that now uh, what happened uh, uh, great face stone become the best teacher of the earnest life right uh, he uh, the great fence uh, great face stone teach many things to the earnest for uh, passing the years next we have for the poet the songs of this poet found their way to earnest means the songs of this poet found the way of earnest means the thinking of level uh, means uh, behaving activities it's shown in his poetry Next, he read them after his customary soil, a uh, customary toil. Means, what is a customary toil? Usual work. He read them after his customary uh, toil. Means, uh, whenever he completed her usual work, means uh, I, I told that my usual work is doing, uh, making lectures for you, making a present for you, uh, making register for you, right? It was my usual work. Coming to here, teach to you, right? It is my usual work. So, after uh, Ernest completed his usual work, they are, they, he is going to uh, read all the poems uh, that is uh, written by his own. Next, 
Yes. Next we have the he read them after his customary toil. Seated on the bench before his cottage door. Uh, where he sit for the poem? He seated on the cottage door. Right. Uh, it is already in our chapter that is uh, uh, his mother and uh, Ernest uh, sat on the cottage door. Right. So like that uh, till now. Uh, the earnest to sat on the cottage door as he read the, he lifted his eyes to the mountain and while he reading all the poems he lived he stared the great fair stone again and again oh great stone face he stared is not this man worthy to be yours likeness means uh, is not this man means the man is not like to you Means he asked the question to the great face stone. The face seemed to smile but did not answer. Means the face looking smiling to him but did not get answer from his face. Now it happened that the poet though he lived so far away had not only heard to the honest but had thought much about his character and wished to meet this man whose wisdom walked hand in hand with the noble simplicity of his life means now what happened the poet that to live so far away means poet who is the poet who are the earnest right who have written the poem for all the means spread the all over poetry with the every verse means for the every persons so they lived so far away but uh, but he want to hurt the earnest that's why they came to meet they came to character which has the noblest person noblest character in his life to meet this man whose wisdom walked hand to hand with the noblest simplicity of his life means the simplicity that earnest has the poet uh, forced to meet with the earnest one summer day therefore he arrived at the honest door where he found the good old man holding a book in his hand what happened that poet came to meet the earnest at the summer day therefore he arrived at the honest door means they arrived at the earnest door and what he find that he found that the good old man holding a book means the earnest now uh, now earnest become the older man right so he hold the book with his and what happened which he read and then with a finger between the leaves look lovingly the great stone face and that time what happened he was looking to the great face stone while holding the book with his hand good evening said the poet poet said that good evening can you give a traveler's night shelter so what happened can you give the traveler night shelter gladly answered ernest and then he added smiling what happened then uh, in replied with Honest giving smile to that poet. I think I never show the great face stone face look so hospitably at a stranger. So uh, answer that uh, he answered to the poet that I never show the great stone face. What happened? He had never shown the great face stone in his journey of life. But here the one word that is the hospitality. Hospitality means kya hota hai? Gently and kindly. What gently and kindly he never show the great face stone ever. Next we have the poet sat down beside him. Means what happened? The poet sat down with him and he and honest talk together. And that time they talked together. Never before had the poet talked with a man like honest. And before the uh, before the past, a uh, poet never uh, convey with this type of people in his life like the earnest so wise and so gentle and kind because earnest was very wise gentle and kind so earnest on the other hand was moved by the living image flung out of the poet's mind and what <clears throat> means the image means what is the uh, image of the poet's mind means the uh, uh, means the prophecy of the mind like the gentle and kind so one type of image created by the poet and his mind about the earnest next we have the as the earnest listened to the poet he imagined that the great stone face was bending forward to listen to means like whenever the poet <coughs> start their poetry that time honest thing that that the great face stone banding to listen the poem by the poet and next he gazed into the poet's eyes and look means in the stare at the poet's eyes who are you my gifted guest he asked and again earnest asked that who are you my gifted guest means gifted guest means what uh, honest don't know about the guests that are arrived here right 
नेक्स्ट द पोएट लेड हिज फिंगर ऑन द बुक एंड ऑनेस्ट हैड बीन रीडिंग and the uh, what happened poet have read the poems means uh, lead his fingers fingers means put his finger on this book and they read the poem you have read this poem said he you know me then for i wrote them means you know for what reason i write this all poems again and again ernest exclaimed the poet's features he turned towards the great stone face the back he shook his head and sighed means Again and again, Ernest explained that the poem that uh, that already written in the book it is for the only great face stone means already uh, he stared to the great face he gazing to the great face stone. Because replied Ernest, all the life I have awaited the fulfillment of the prophecy means in between the. childhood and between the older he always to find to the old prophecy what is the old prophecy of the great face stone and when i read this poem i hope that it might be fulfilled in you and uh, while i uh, i read this poem i like that it is maybe in this poem means old prophecy may be find by in this poem you hope to answer the poem yes you hope that faintly smiling means faintly means with the kindness he is smiling find in me the likeness of the great face stones please find in me please you find this face in me poet said that this face is likeness by my face and i am not worthy to be its likeness and i am not worthy to like that the great face stone and why not ask honest to honest ask that question why not you look like that a uh, uh, great face stone so he pointed to the book are not those thought worthy means and uh, he again pointed the book are not worthy for you these lines are not worthy for you he asked to the honest you can hear in them the distant voice of the heavenly uh, heavenly song so you can hear means you can sing the poem by the heavenly song next but my life dear ernest has not corresponded with my thoughts means my whatever the about the journey of life it is not corresponding means it is not tuning with the my thoughts means my life and my thoughts are not tuning with each other means uh, what happened in his life it is quite different from his thoughts i have had grand dreams i have grand dreams means i have great dreams means what happened but they have been only dreams means they have only dreams means in general life uh, something uh, something happened quite different from our dreams so it is uh, already like the poet poet already had that uh, different different dreams but in actual life he had something uh, something quite different from the dreams sometimes i like faith in my own thoughts and sometimes what happen uh, generally in our lives already happen that we think something about and we had something else right so that time we think our dreams are really uh, fake and really not worthy for us so, so it is like again happening the poet's life the dreams are quite different from his actual life should you hope to find me in this face to the mountain so uh, again the poet asks should i hope to the find in this great face stone soul i look to the great face stone and become the real the poet spoke sadly and his eyes were wet with the tears so too were those two of ernest and poet spoke sadly and sadly poet said that what his eyes were wet with the tears means uh, uh, poet's eyes become the wet with his tears so to were those of honest it is like the honest means what happened honest till now not about the great face stones and already poet don't about the his actual life because he has the grand dreams but it is not happen in a actual life at the uh, at the hour of the sunset as had long been his custom on it was to speak to a group of neighbors in the open air means at the hour of the sunset means at the time of the sunset he <clears throat> as had long been his custom custom means as as the habit of the honest uh, honest as the habit that the conversation with the people of the valley at the time of the sunset means speak to the people that are neighbors of the honest together he and the poet went to the meeting glass means uh, again what happened the poet and the honest going to meet the people of the valley at the sunset time 
and arm and arm from the could be seen the great stone face at the time what happened they all are sitting together and seen to the great face stone honest through a look a familiar kindness around upon his audience he began to speak to the people what was in his heart and mind and at the time of togetherness uh, ernest speak many things to the people of the valleys and uh, whatever the person uh, who are the person with the ernest his words had power because they agreed with this thoughts his words had powers why his words had power because the thoughts and the uh, and the thoughts and the speak I mean, the, the speeches they already give to the uh, peoples it is like the similar and his thoughts had reality and depth and his thought has a reality and the deafness of the thoughts because they harmonized with the life which had always lived means he already agreed with the whatever happened in our life right we have the students already agree with means sometimes what happened we want something else and we had something else so that time what happened students uh, we got uh, said from the what happened in actual life the students that time we don't have to panic our mind that time we have to harmonize means we have to tune with this happen already in our life so it is already like that the uh, earnest so we have to accept whatever done in our life so felt that the life and character of earnest were nobler strain of the poetry than he had over written means earnest were the nobler strain now what is a nobler strain nobler strain means the very peaceful strain of the poetry than he had ever written means whatever earnest written his book it is like the already happened in his life means he has the dreams and he has already the actual life things right so he had already tuning with both the things uh, in his poem uh, next his eyes filled with the tears and he said to himself and whenever he gave the speech that time his eyes filled with the tears and say that himself that never was there so worthy a sag of that mild sweet and told full face with the glory of white hairs and the diffused about it sag means wise man means i never saw the wise man like that great face stone means with the time means the spread all over means uh, the hairs that ernest has it is spread over with the harmony next at a distance but the clearly to be seen high up in the golden light of the setting sun appeared the great stone face with the white mist around it and at a distance means at a long distance we already know at a distance we have the, we have seen the face of the great fence stone but whenever the spectator go to the <clears throat> go to the near with the great stone face that time we are not able to see the great stone face so uh, ernest uh, speak here what but clearly to be seen high up in the golden light whenever the golden light coming to the great face stone we are able to see the face means uh, we are able to see the human face uh, on the great stone face to so, appear the great stone face with the mist around mist mist means already fog around it the white stone face like the white hairs around her brows of earnest means like the brows of the earnest it is like similar to the earnest at that moment earnest faith look and the expression so grand that the poet was loved to throw his arm up and shout means that time whenever the earnest giving his speech that time poet wants to through the uh, means wants to uh, throw his arm up and shout arm up and shout what shout behold behold earnest is himself likeness a great stone face and what the earnest itself look like the great stone face means what happens students earnest find a uh, great face stone in everywhere but he didn't find his uh, face with the great stone face that time poet said that you are itself you self look like the means you have the likeness like the great face stone he never find it in his self okay next then all the people look i saw that what the poet said was true and then whenever poet true uh, poet said that you look like the great uh, great face stone so all the people compared with the great face stone to the earnest and that time they already they <coughs> the, the people of the valley said that yes it is right your face and the great face stone are similar to each other the prophecy was fulfilled and at that time the prophecy fulfilled but honest having the finished what he had to say but um, 
Anas want to uh, fulfill means Anas want to uh, finish to his speech. Took the poet's arm, uh, took the poet's arm and walked slowly homeward. And uh, again he going to his home again and still hoping that some wiser and better man. Uh, then himself will by and by appear and again and again he has the hope that uh, from me again and again the man that has a great prophecy again and again come and compare to this great face stone and bearing the resemblance of the great stone face and again and again bearing the resemblance of this great face stone means he by self don't accept that uh, he by self didn't want to accept that the his face look like the great face on that time what happened uh, he is going to back his homeward and again and again try to find the new person that look like the great face stone means by his self he didn't want to accept the old prophecy that are already in his own self okay so students we have completed the chapter number 10 new students so again what happens students it is like the moral of the story what happened that uh, sometimes what happened we have in our already life but we didn't find in ourselves we already uh, we always uh, praise to the others were others people like oh oh my god uh, she is looking very good she she is very hard working but in ourselves we don't find that we are also hard working right so it is like that we have to accept that we have the great prophecy in our life okay so students i hope you clear with that things Uh, and students uh, please now it is my humble request to all of you that pay 100% attention to your online study because it is already your part of your education okay i hope students if you have any doubt difficulty we will solve in our live lecture or in our recorded lecture and whatever homework you assign with your application you have to complete and you have to submit in within the app okay so tell that students bye bye you all take care of your self thank you for your 100% support